as an artist, if you will, is that you must define the universe. If you leave yourself with limitless possibilities, you'll never get to the first brushstroke because it could be anything. So you allow the film, the story, the characters to define what I'll call my palette. And that palette is often a set of rules that I'm going to live by that all sound has to be filtered through. So for example, on Dune, Denis Villeneuve's instruction to us was, I want Dune to feel like somebody dropped a documentary film crew on Arrakis and with a boom pole and a microphone and everything that we hear um, should feel, quote, familiar. So what does that mean? What it, the way we interpreted that was all sound would be acoustic because we're all familiar with acoustic sound. Everything we hear in life lives in an acoustic environment. Um, science fiction, sadly, has been saddled with this kind of tropish approach to sound, which is that if you're going to see things you've never seen before, you should hear things you've never heard before. And that has leaned sound designers towards electronic sound and synthesizers. And that became like rule number one on Dune, no synthesizers, no electronica. And in fact, in 3,005 bespoke sounds that we made from scratch for Dune, only four of them started life as a synthesizer or some electronic device. So back to the, the to answer your question, we developed an aesthetic that, uh, that, or that was a lens we listened to, or, or maybe to put it more succinctly, the way we would listen to the film. If it didn't sound like something you could have captured on Dune on Arrakis with a boom mic, it didn't fit in our film. And so from there, with those restrictions came the first, first brush strokes. So the very first thing that I made was an ornithopter, a, 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 a make-believe craft that flies like a dragonfly. All of those elements started life as organic um, components that included a cat purring because it had to flutter like or a, a tent strap, a canvas tent strap blowing in the breeze and an actual beetle that we bought and recorded it and, and set it free. Wow. <laughs> and, and for a smaller film like this, um, 